The union says talks have stalled. The strike will begin at midnight tonight. Sag after strong! Sag after strong! This is what I do for a living. This is my career. This is my life. This is what pays the bills. Big business corporations are trying to squeeze labor out of their due. And it's not going to go away. It's going to get worse unless we stop it right here and now. The entire business model has been changed by streaming, digital, AI. This is a moment of history that is a moment of truth. If we don't stand tall right now, we are all going to be in trouble. We are all going to be in jeopardy of being replaced by machines and big business. Who cares more about Wall Street than you and your family? They could give us everything we wanted and it wouldn't hurt them. You cannot change the business model as much as it has changed and not expect the contract to change too. We are labor and we stand tall and we demand respect and to be honored for our contribution. You share the wealth because you cannot exist without us. Thank you. Let's chat on what is happening with the industry, where it's going, and just what the heck is going on. I'm gonna be breaking this video into four different parts. I'm gonna first talk about what is happening with the strikes, both in the States and in Canada. I'm not gonna go into super detail. I'm just gonna give sort of the gist of what is happening currently, just so you can stay up to date and know what's going on in the industry. Then I am going to break it down into if you feel that you are stuck in the industry or you feel like your career is not really going forward anywhere and a little talk about why that's happening and, and you know what can you do. The third thing is how to keep yourself busy during a very stagnant time. I'm in that same position so this is really good advice for myself as well. And the last part that I'm going to talk about is where do I stand with all of this and my honest opinion of where I think we are going. So honeys, let's get into this video. As you all probably most likely know, we've had a massive strike happen in the States down south, our little friends. And the original strike happened in May with the Writers Guild of America. Breaking news overnight, Hollywood writers going on strike, bringing many productions to an immediate stop. In July, specifically July 14th, was when the next strike happened and that was with the actors. So now the actors and the writers are both striking together. Pretty much everything has shut down. Few things are still allowed to be working, which is unscripted television, so like reality TV shows, anything that is non-union, but even then a lot of non-union projects in the States are not going to be filming or getting produced because they wanna be in solidarity with what's going on. You are not allowed to be promoting a lot of work. You can be doing radio voiceovers. I believe, what else is in there? Documentary films I think are allowed to still be going on. So there's a few loopholes that if you're in something else, you can still be working on a set and doing things, but like, 95% of things are not allowed to be in the works whatsoever. There has been negotiations on the table between uh, the executives of like Warner Brothers and Paramount and Universal, that kind of stuff, with SAG after and the Writers Guild of America, and the negotiations are still going on. It does not seem from what I've been reading that anything is necessarily getting solved. It does not seem that anything's getting any close. The other thing that has been going on, we have had a strike here in Toronto with our um, union, ACTRA Union, that's the Canadian Union, and with the two biggest ad agencies in Canada. They're the ones who have a contract with ACTRA to hire union commercial actors to be working on commercial commercials. Last June of 2022, they were supposed to renew their contract, this, these two big ad agencies, and they didn't, which was huge. These ad agencies don't want to be paying the kind of union fees that union actors would be getting when they're working on commercial. They want to be hiring non-union actors, paying them some shitty flat fee of like, let's say 500 bucks, but then overworking these non-union actors for like a 15 hour day, which is just 
unbelievable and like not okay whatsoever. ACTRA, our union, went on strike. Well, first they did negotiations at the table and it seemed that not much happened and then we went on strike. Turns out the strike has been going on since last June and now we're well over into a year of it. Now we're getting into September. So we've been having the strike for a year and now what, three months going on. We recently just had a big march about it because I as a union actor actually have not had any union commercials. There are still companies that will work with union actors because they want to. So I think in the last year, I maybe have had two commercials be sent out to me, which is insane because before the strike I was getting I don't know, maybe like 50. A lot of people choose to do commercials as like their long-term thing. And you can make pretty killer money if you're a part of Aptra and you're doing commercials. A lot of people pay their mortgage like this. They pay their cars, they pay everything. Like this is their meal ticket. And unfortunately, a lot of people are losing out on a lot of money and don't know where the next meal ticket is coming. So it's been a hard time for the industry here in Canada, specifically in Toronto, and then now in the States. So we're kind of in this weird like space and no one really understands where this is going and what's gonna happen. So that's the big update on the strikes of what's happening here. The next Next part I'm talking about is if you feel that your sort of career is really stopped and stagnant, that is okay. That is okay if your career, whether it's be behind the scenes or in front of the scenes is not moving forward. Why? Well, because we've had a massive strike for over a year now in Toronto, and now we have a bigger one that's been going on for three to four months with United States, and that has affected the Canadian market hugely for us. Big actors here in Canada that used to get a lot of lead like acting auditions probably get like less than 75% of what they used to. So it's a huge jump. If you were getting two to three auditions a week, you're probably getting once a month. And that's kind of what's happening. I, since the strike has happened, have, well, since the American strike has happened, I've had two auditions. So since May, I've only had two auditions. And then with the original Toronto strike, I've been getting film and television auditions, but I've not had many commercial auditions, like I said, two throughout the entire year. Please don't worry if your career is not going anywhere. Please don't sit there and start freaking out. Oh my God, I'm, I'm not, not getting, getting any auditions. auditions. What, what do, do I, I do? do? Do not, do not, please. I'm, I'm literally begging you, do not go messaging your agent being like, why am I not getting auditions? Because A, it's gonna make you sound that you're not up to date with what's going on. Two, your agent is just as much freaking out as you are. In fact, they're probably even freaking out more because now they're for sure not making any money and all of their actors don't have auditions. So they're also in this position of like, what the hell do I do? There are people who are about to lose their houses and their mortgages because they have no money to pay anything. So if you have a second job, do not leave that job. Keep that second job until things with these all these strikes kind of get a little bit better because we really don't know when this will end. No one knew, no one thought I should say that the Toronto strike was going to go for over a year. And I really hope to God that the American strike does not go this long either, but I mean, you never know. I'm in the same position with you. My acting career is really not going anywhere right now. I'm not getting auditions. I'm not moving forward with it. And I cannot sit here and blame anyone because it's no one's fault except for the execs who are doing this to us. And it's not your agent's fault. It's not the casting office fault. So please just hang tight, breathe through it. You are not alone. There's many other people who are in the same boat as with you that's not having their acting career progress forward. Okay, so what can you do during this time? I know it may seem kind of weird and crazy because you're like, oh my God, like I'm not getting auditions. How am I supposed to progress my career? And how am I supposed to do this and this and this? I get it, honeys, yes. There's lots you can be doing during this time. First of all, you can sit back and take a look at your package. Maybe it's time to revamp your package. Maybe it's time to get new headshots. Maybe it's time to put in new credits that you got for your resume. Maybe it's time to just completely change the format of your resume. Maybe it's time to redo your demo. And it doesn't matter if you don't have anything new. I personally don't have anything new in my demo, but I was thinking about making it clean and new again. Why? Because it's gonna give it a different look. Casting directors are not gonna remember what you filmed or have not filmed in. So if you kind of give it a little bit of a revamp, they're gonna look and be like, wow, cool, new demo. They're not gonna realize that it's been the same demo, but you just kind of revamped it a little bit, made it a bit more fun, creative, and whatever. Another good time for you to do this is to have a meeting with your agent. 
you could sit with your agent and just say, hey, I know a lot's not going on right now, but I wanna talk about our year. How do you think my progress has been? How do you think I've been doing? Do you think maybe I need to improve on something or this? You could even talk to your agent about the package you have. Like, hey, what do you think of my headshots? Maybe it's time for new headshots. What do you think I should do? If you're looking to change up your hair, if you're looking to change up whatever, this is a great time to be kind of experimenting with that because you're not missing anything in the industry. And if you choose to kind of do something different. I think it's a great time right now to give it a go. About the meeting thing with your agent, this is also a great time for you to take a look at the relationships you have in this industry. And this is important because when the industry is back in action, it never stops. It's like a never sleeping machine. It's like New York, you know, like New York never sleeps. Well, the industry apparently never sleeps either. And sometimes you get so caught up in the go, go, go that you do not have a chance to sit and be like, where am I going? Like, am I happy in, in the direction I'm going? Am I happy with the relationships I have? Maybe I don't have a good relationship with this casting director. Well, why is that? Maybe you want to look into it. What about my agent? Do I like my agent? Do I like the relationship I have? Do I like the agency? Oh my God, maybe they have six people that are all ginger. So why am I with an agent that has six people that all look like ginger? Like, these are really good questions to sit down, right? ask yourself, journal about it, and be like, what am I looking for? Like get really nitty gritty and specific about what you want in this industry. I would not be changing your agent during this time. And I'm gonna be honest, people have said very 50-50 things on this. I've heard people say, no, this is a great time to change your agent because well, you're not missing much if you change it. If you become agent less, it's not a big deal because the industry is not getting anywhere anyway, so you're not missing anything. But I've also heard people say it's a bad time to change your agent because agents don't already have any work as it is. So they're not looking to take on more clients. There's not work going on. Like there's nothing to audition for. There's nothing really happening. Like why would an agent take on more actors when they don't even have auditions for the actors that they already have? So that's kind of where I feel like, I think it's a good time to think about whether you like your agent or not. Maybe you've been with your agent for three years and you're like, I've been not feeling amazing about our relationship, but I would not go and change your agent. Instead, I would put it onto the universe that you're thinking of maybe changing things up. And then once the industry is back in action, that is when I would consider leaving your agent and looking for new representation. Another couple good things that you can be doing during this like weird downtime is getting back into class. If you haven't done class and you, or you haven't been to class for a while, get your butt into class. This is so important. It's a great way for you to learn. You're going to need to just expand your skills and it's a great time to try different classes. Give it a go. It's also nice because you don't really have to concentrate on auditions or anything like that. So you could put all your time and effort into the class. So classes right now is a great time. Lastly, I wanna say about this time is it is okay if you want to take a break. I personally, before this time was kind of like, I think I wanna take a little bit of a break. I feel that I'm like in this weird space with the industry right now. And it just so happened we went into the strike and it worked out nice because I booked my trip to Spain and I didn't miss out on anything while I was gone. So if you wanna go travel, I would travel right now. Like you're not gonna miss any auditions. If you wanna just not do anything and just focus on something else, do that as well. Literally take a break. Oh my God, you're gonna feel so much better if you take a break and you're not gonna have the fear of missing anything because you're not. We're all kind of hanging out right now waiting for the end result. Last thing I wanna talk about is where do I sort of stand with all of this? I personally do think that what is going on in the industry here in Toronto and in the States, I think this was coming to it personally. I think this was something that had to have happened. And I think this is kind of brewing for a couple of years now. And I think it finally just is starting to come to light now. I obviously feel that it really sucks that this is happening because a lot of people are struggling and a lot of people are, are kind of freaked, freaking out about finances. It also doesn't help that this is also happening when we're in the middle of a recession and that there's a massive inflation happening and I get that. If it wasn't for my hotel serving job, I'd also be in that position. So I, as much as I hate my hotel serving job, I'm very thankful that I have it because then I have no way to pay my mortgage. I'd have no way to pay for my bills, my groceries, like even to pay my editor to edit these YouTube videos that I have for you, honey. He's like, none of this would be happening. So yeah, I think this was coming and this was coming for a long time and it's just finally all popping off now. But I think this is also a, 
a big change is going to happen in the industry. I think a lot of things needed to change. A lot of things needed to be different. And the only way for this to ever happen was to truly, honestly, like have something so grandiose as like 3000 million strikes happen all at the same time. I just really feel that it's going to be a struggle for the next couple of months. There's gonna be a lot of scariness and just like, just a hard time and just push through it, breathe through it. Remember, reach out to people, reach out to me. You all know where I am on my Instagram and my TikTok. My DMs are always open for you, honeys. My comments are always open. Like if you're struggling with something, if you're confused, if you have any questions about this kind of stuff, please, please, please reach out. I'm more than happy to help. So reach out to other acting friends if you have anyone in the community, your teachers, your coaches, even your agent. Like it's okay to talk to your agent and just be like, hey, freaking out, like, it's fine if you are a viewer right now and you're not participating in the industry whatsoever, but you want to help us out. There's a couple of places that you can do. First of all, you can donate for different um, organizations that have been created for actors um, and production people and like writers, everything for people who are struggling financially because they don't have another job and this was their only job. So you can donate there. Or if you live in a big city and there are protests happening, please pick up a sign and go over and just stand there in solidarity and just really kind of be there for us because it is a very difficult time. And I do want to say that when it comes to a really, when you're going through something tough, Everybody in the world turns to art. Everybody turns on Netflix and they watch their comfort show. So we are kind of people's comfort zone. And right now we need to have you guys as our comfort zone. That's what we need right now. So go protest if you can, donate if you can. And honestly, if you know of anyone who's in the industry and is affected, or even maybe if you don't know that they're affected, reach out to them and check in that they're okay. I think that's really important. Send them a Starbucks gift card if you want. I think that's also a really nice touch as well. Well, this is it for the video. Um, I'm excited that I got a chance to talk about this because I think this is a really good time to just really hone in on what you want in this industry and where you want to go with it. And right now I think it's the best time to do it because you're not missing much. So you can get super clarified and like big clarification on what you want. So I think this is a great time to get into it. Honeys, I love you. Like I said, reach out if anything, please message me. I love you and uh, I'm excited for the next video. And you know what? If there's anything you want me to talk about, if there's anything you want me to address, if there's anything you want questions answered or whatever, you know where to find me on Instagram and on TikTok or you can comment down below. Love you, honeys. And I'll see you all next Friday. Bye. Bye.